what Cyber Dragon reminds me of? It reminds me of that kid that the opposite team picks last because they need an even amount of people on both teams. But unfortunately for the team that didn't pick him, he actually winds up being really good in certain instances. Cyber Dragon has that feel. It's a very powerful deck that no one tends to pick up until they start to realize that it can break extra links with ease as well as OTK the opponent and control the board. You can just say that you might be dragging your opponent's life points down to zero if you play this deck correctly. I'm the Cali Effect, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, but more importantly, go ahead and hit that notification bell because, well, we just too strong. Also want to take the time to give a special thank you to every single one of my Patreons. Without you guys, videos like this would not be possible. I really do appreciate your continued support. Without further ado, I present to you a competitive Cyber Dragon deck profile for this format, and let's not forget, since we're on ban list watch, it is one of the decks that has a high possibility of not being touched and can be very, very dominant next format. Okay, so before you guys start cybering out and destroying your opponent, uh, let's actually dial black so I can show you guys these stats. I think that Cyber Dragon can consistently top and win regional level events, and it can possibly even top those YCS level events with some new Cyber Dragon support. I think that would definitely help because there are some cards on the horizon for this deck, and they make the deck that much more powerful. Until then, we have to sit back and relax and enjoy what we do have because this control-based deck can OTK the opponent fairly quickly as well as break their board. Let's start talking about the monsters so you guys can get better acclimated to the deck and see why I run certain cards to help you gain an advantage over the opponent. All right, so starting off, uh, first I would like to say please excuse the white line you're going to see throughout the video. I tried my best to actually get rid of it. I just got to have to record at a different time or just figure something out. But uh, three copies of Cyber Dragon. This is the main monster of the deck. Really important, and we like to take advantage of the fact that it is a level 5 light machine monster, and he can also put himself to the side of the field fairly easy by controlling no monsters and your opponent controlling monsters. Uh, he is a card that has dominated so many formats before, starting all the way into ruining GOAT format. So he's very powerful, and a lot of your uh, extra deck monsters require to have at least one copy of him to make. So uh, he's really good in that regard. Next is one copy of Cyber Dragon Vire. Um, this card is also extremely powerful because anytime you normal summon or spell summon a Cyber Dragon monster, you can just summon him to your side of the field, and he provides extra link fodder for your extended plays. Um, a monster that I don't see a lot of people playing, but I still think is very good is one copy of Cyber Dragon Dry. Um, this card is really good. It's just, I, it, it's a powerful. The main reason is because it can make all Cyber Dragon monsters on the field level five. Those level two cores make them five. Uh, those level one herses, you can make them five and start popping off with some insane plays. Uh, but even more importantly, him by himself allows himself to make a level five and he can combo up really well with cards like Galaxy Soldier to get you that free rank five to your side of the field. Next is three copies of Cyber Dragon Core. This guy is amazing. When he is normal summon, you can add one Cyber Spell or Trap card from your deck to your graveyard, and then you can banish him from the graveyard if you control no monsters and spell summon Cyber Dragon from your deck to your side of the field. Um, he is our reinforcement of the army or our Stratos-like monster inside of the deck. He is really important. The best thing about him is that he treats himself as Cyber Dragon, so when you machine duplication him, you can spell summon Cyber Dragons from your deck to your side of the field. Same thing with Cyber Dragon Hers. He treats himself as Cyber Dragon while he's on the field in the graveyard, but um, more importantly, when he's special summoned, you can make him level 5, which doesn't really come up much, but when he is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Cyber Dragon from your deck or graveyard uh, to your hand, and that's actually the really important part, is that it allows you to recur your Cyber Dragon uh, parts from your graveyard or deck to your hand, which is pretty good. Um, Next is three copies of Galaxy Soldier. Everything that I'm showing you guys um, is pretty much mandatory along with the Galaxy Soldiers. It allows you to extend, it just, just extend so many plays. It's a level five light machine monster, so it pairs up really well with Cyber Dragon, allowing you to make uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity, or even just summoning itself to the side of the field to allow you to make some link plays, or making those deadly fusion monsters once it hits the graveyard. And then one copy of Jizakiru, the Lightning Star Kaiju, or the Lightning, the Lightning, Jizakiru. One copy of Jizakiru, all right? He is a machine monster that can be searched with cyber emergency and he's really important because you give your opponent the machine monster and then you can use cyber dragon plus him to contact out so um he's fairly easy to get rid of that is it for all of the monsters we do play a lot different hand traps i'm really testing this and i'm liking uh what i see uh the only thing that i would change is that i run two copies of droll and lockbird 
I would run three copies of Drone and Lockbird if I were you now. You guys are probably wondering, Cali Effect, you have every card in the world. Why aren't you running three copies of Drone and Lockbird? Well, I do have three Drone and Lockbirds, but one of them is Super, and I did trade for one, but it still hasn't came in yet. I, I think he just flaked on me. Unfortunately, I am in the business for finding another Drone and Lockbird, but I strongly suggest that you guys play three, and it's for a combo at the end. We followed that up with what would be one copy of DD Crow if you guys played a third Drone and Lockbird, but I'm going to be playing two, and it actually is a very powerful card. Um, a little bit more powerful than Ghost Bell in certain situations. The Danger FTK uh, normally puts Cannon Soldier in the graveyard. DD Crow to Cannon Soldier, you stop the FTK, and now you can play Yu-Gi-Oh! And especially in this deck, you can win games. DD Crow is also really good against the Mirror Match. It's good against Burning Abyss. Um, it, it's good against, it's just good against a lot of things. It's good against Trickstar. It's, it's good against so many decks. It's like unbelievable right now. And then two copies of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. This is to stop the Summon Sorceress, because Warrior decks loves, like almost every competitive deck right now loves Summon Sorceress. But it's still a very powerful card on its own right, getting rid of certain cards that your opponent controls. That is it for the X extra deck ladies and gentlemen or for the main deck um on to the spell cards why well, i said the main deck when i met the monsters on to the spell cards we run three copies of cyber emergency this card is amazing so this is the reinforcement of the army that really can't be stopped um you can add one light machine monster uh that cannot be normal summoned or set or one cyber dragon from your deck to your hand um and basically you get to search whatever cyber dragon monster my apologies you get to search whatever the best thing about it is that if it's negated so if your opponent i don't know just so happens to magic jammer you you can add it to your graveyard by discarding a card and since the activation was negated you can go ahead and activate it again uh that's what people don't team the about this card is that it says you can only activate this card once per turn as opposed to you can only use this card there's a huge difference between those two and i'll probably might have to make a video about that for you guys um next is two copies only two copies of cyber repair plant i used to think that this card was amazing in threes uh come to find out it's really good in twos um basically it allows you to add one light machine monster from your deck to your hand um or it allows you to recur one machine monster from your graveyard to your deck. Now, if you have three light machine monsters, is it three light machines? I'm trying to like not to get this. If you have three or more cyber dragon monsters in your graveyard, you can activate both of these effects and resolve them in sequence. So um, it's just really, really good uh, by playing cyber dragons. You get another reinforcement of the army light card and you get a little bit of recursion like a pot of avarice without a draw. Only one copy of cyber rev system. This is actually a card that I really wanted to play two of because I only play one seeker in this deck and sometimes getting out seeker is really important but basically it allows you to spell summon a cyber dragon monster from your hand or your graveyard and the best thing about it is that it can't be destroyed by card effects. A lot of people don't understand or a lot of people just forget that it can't be destroyed by card effects and then try to destroy it with a card effect. Uh, next is three copies of Machine Duplication. You have six targets in this deck. All three of them will special summon two more Cyber Dragons from your deck to your side of the field, coincidentally, hers and core. I mean, it's just really powerful for making those huge pluses in insane combos. Um, now, I do have three insanely powerful combo cards I want to show you guys. Um, first, I actually run one copy of Cyber Low Fusion and... This card's insane. It allows you to shuffle cards that are banished to your deck to fusion summon again. Also, your graveyard in hand. But the banished thing is, or just your, I'm sorry, your hand and filled. And is it? Let me make sure, because I know it's the banished, which is insane. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck that lists Cyber Dragon as a material by shuffling the fusion monsters listed into the deck from among the cards on your field and or and or your banished face of cards. I apologize, not your hand, just your field and banished cards. But monsters you cannot control attack for the rest of the turn. So the good thing about it is that after you attack with all your monsters, you activate this and then you can attack again, basically with your newly summoned fusion monster, really powerful, or you can just shuffle those banished monsters back into your deck to fusion summon again. And then one copy of Overload Fusion because it's one of the fastest way to get in Chimera Tech. It allows you to make some really big pombos. No power bond, no extra uh, copies. I would just run one and one if I were you guys. I did a lot of research on this deck. Lastly is one, and playtesting. Lastly is one copy of Instant Fusion. This card is insane. I don't know why people don't play Instant Fusion. It allows you to bring you a level five light monster, light machine monster to your side of the build to extend your combos. I've noticed that a lot of Cyber Dragon decks want to go second, and that's not a bad thing, but I'm not gonna, uh, uh, you know, fix myself to only go second. I'm gonna have those really insane first turn plays to make boards that you just can't break. Next is two copies of Call by the Grave, good at stopping hand drafts. And then we run an extender in Monster Reborn, one for one to bring out hers, and then Foolish Burial to send the appropriate cards we need from the decks of the graveyard. Um, and then lastly, for traps, we just run two of them. Two copies of Cybernetic Overflow. I gotta read this card because, man, it is insane. Banish Cyber Dragon Monsters, <coughs> excuse me, 
with different levels from your hand, face up on your field, and or graveyard to destroy equal cards your opponent controls. That is amazing. If this card is in your graveyard by, if this card is destroyed by a card effect, add one cyber spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. Um, just really good at disrupting your opponent's boards. And then if it's destroyed, you get free cards from your deck to your hand. It's just really insane. But that is it for the main board with the spells and traps and all that other stuff. Now I can show you guys the extra deck and why we run it a little bit more crispy than others. All right, so on to the extra deck. Um, we run just one copy of Cyber Dragon, Siger, uh, Seeger. I thought that this card was insane to play. He gives your Cyber Dragon monsters a boosted attack. He has the perfect arrows. But once you start to realize that you can summon him over and over again from your graveyard to your side of the field, you can recur him back into your deck. He is a Cyber Dragon. Um, you kind of only need one. Nonetheless, I still really wanted to play two. If I didn't play enough recursion, I play uh, two recursion cards. So it was like, uh. But then I play so many other ways to get him to the side of the field. And normally games should shouldn't end uh, or shouldn't go by that fast if you guys uh, don't have summon sorcerers for you uh, you know European players you guys should be getting it soon but uh, cutting out your summon sorcerers for your cyber dragon Seeger another copy is not a bad idea um, this card allows you to extend so many combos it's not even funny it's really good for this deck and then Cleefor genius is actually very very good in this deck because you can negate face-up cards on the side of the field um, and it also has those two arrows pointing down so one of the monsters that you don't have to you know uh, uh, you don't have to try to do anything any other shenanigans before making summon sorcerers you can just safely play two seekers and a cleave for genius for you european players last is link karibo um really good for its arrows obviously it points down but it's to get hers off the field and gain its effects when you get that free hers uh for the x seeds two copies of cyber dragon infinity this is the card that you guys want to make early and often it allows you to negate your opponent's monster effects spells or trap cards and it allows you to attach opponents face up attack position monsters it's just a monstrosity to deal with your opponent having to deal with this is problems uh uh, two copies of Cyber Dragon Nova. Um, this guy is really good. I don't think that this deck unlocks the full potential of it because if it is destroyed, you get to spell summon a monster from your extra deck to your side of the build. That Cyber Dragon, unfortunately, or I'm sorry, Machine Monster, but unfortunately, we don't play like uh, at least an optimal card. Like normally, they play like some huge monster. Like um, I'm trying to think of it. He's like the 4K body that attacks and inflicts piercing, or just a huge. Uh, um, Roid card that's just like insane. This deck doesn't play it, so if they destroy it, you kind of like uh, you can summon cards, but it's not as good. Lexley is my secret tech card, artifact Durandal. Um, this deck can actually Droll and Lock uh, reincarnation your opponent with artifact Durandal and a Droll and Lock. So, I mean, I thought that that was really fun to play. Um, it actually matches up really well uh, for my side deck. I'm not going to show you guys because, you know, side decks are pretty relative, but I do side uh, the artifact Lancia, and this card works in, you know, obviously great tandem with Lancia, and it's just a really good pressure card. Uh, if your opponent decides to search, they never see it coming. You activate Durandal, then you activate Droll and Lock Bird, they lose their entire hand, and you can still play Yu-Gi-Oh! with your control board. One copy of Constellar Plytes, uh, just good at bouncing opponents threats that's it for the exceeds for the fusions two copies of chimera tech mega fleet dragon this will break your opponent's board i think this is a this is a huge reason why the deck is just so good just being able to plop this card to your side of the field and continue to break your opponent's board with cards like that one copy of chimera tech fortress dragon um really good at breaking machine boards or just giving them the jizakiri when using it to make the the fortress Two copies of Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. This is your game hitter. This is the hard hitter, allowing you to send Cyber Dragon cards from your deck to your graveyard, but also being allowed to attack as many times and gives you destruction on summon. And then lastly is Panzer Dragon. This card is amazing. You can actually summon it off the um, instant fusion, obviously, but you can summon it also off of your destruction of your Cyber Dragon Nova and still continue on with your play. So if your opponent does stop it, you can summon this guy out and he is an instant fusion target. So he was really, really good. There are so many cards that um, I don't play that uh, i've seen a couple of the other decks play one is evenly matched it's a good card but um again i don't want to play to go second i want to play to go first or second and evenly matched isn't the best card going first uh, nonetheless it's still a really good card you guys can consider but i considered budget options and everything and i thought that it was pretty awesome to play what we have now i believe everything in this deck is mandatory um there are some things that you guys could change extra deck wise but other than that this deck is relatively or um hand trap wise but other than that this deck is relatively cheap just make sure you get those drawing lock birds and then everything else from there is like pretty much there um it's just a really really powerful deck now i got i can show you guys some insane combos you will love i think that this deck is phenomenal all right ladies and gentlemen so the combos on this bad puppy are quite 
Simple. I think there are going to be some combos you guys are going to love. First, I'm going to actually use a card that I don't think anybody, everybody's too fond of, and then the card that everybody plays a one of. So, uh, uh, consequently, you can actually bump these cards up uh, to two each, and I think you'd still have a pretty solid deck. Uh, what it requires is Cyber Dragon Vi and Cyber Dragon Dry. I think it's Cyber Dragon Vi. Uh, what you're going to do is normal summon your Cyber Dragon Dry, and as Chainlink 2, activate the effects of your Cyber Dragon Vi. So dry being Chainlink 1, Vi being Chainlink 2, special summon it to your side of the field. And then, because Dry was Chainlink 1 and it resolves, both of your monsters become level 5. Now, you guys know exactly what you can do with that. Unfortunately, for Dry, you can only summon machine monsters, but that is more than fine. Use both of those monsters for an Exceed summon into your Cyber Dragon. Nova, and then this is the time I would use Cyber Dragon Nova's effect to special summon Cyber Dragon to my side of the field. Unfortunately, there wouldn't be any new graveyard this two card combo. You'd make Cyber Dragon Infinity, and now you have a free infinity off of two cards and still other cards to operate with. Uh, the next combo I'm going to show you guys is another simple, really simple combo, just so you guys would know, with Cyber Dragon Herds and Galaxy Soldier. Really awesome combo with that. It's again going to get you a free Cyber Dragon Infinity. Um, what you are going to do is activate your Galaxy Soldier pitching your cyber dragon hers to your side of the field to summon itself to the side of the field using its ability to add from your deck to your hand galaxy soldier and hers's ability to add from your deck to your hand cyber dragon use the ability of galaxy soldier number two pitching it to the graveyard to spell summon galaxy soldier back to your side of the field and those two monsters could be used for a myriad of things let's say for example if i had uh where is that card if i had droll and lockbird in my hand I would probably be a little more towards making the artifact Durandal and waiting for my opponent to search. They'll never see it coming. Uh, wait till they resolve searching. Activate Durandal, chain link one. And then since they're still in the middle, or, you know, since the, I'm sorry, in the same window, activate Joel and Lockbird, and basically they'll lose their entire hand. And which could be just game for you. But in this particular situation, we're just going to use both Galaxy Soldiers for an Exceed Summon into our cyber dragon nova nova effect to special summon cyber dragon to our side of the field and then we'll make cyber dragon infinity but again keep in mind that durandal droll and lock combo is the reason why i feel that this deck um could be taken to a next level just something that a lot of players haven't really been taking advantage of but still is very very powerful um let me show you guys another combo. The next combo that I have for you guys is rather fun. I'm not sure if a lot of Cyber Dragon enthusiasts know this combo because it requires Cyber Dragon Core and not one, but two copies of Machine Duplication. We already know what one Machine Duplication can do to Cyber Dragon Core, but two, excuse me, makes this combo that much more awesome. Normal Summon your Cyber Dragon Core to your side of the field and then use this effect to add Cyber Repair Plant from your deck to your hand. Next, you're going to use Machine Duplication. Let me move this a little bit up. I'm moving both up a little bit. You are going to use Machine Duplication, turning your Cyber Dragon Core into two more Cyber Dragon monsters to your side of the field. I'm going to move this one over here because it's really important that we're going to have a Cyber Dragon eventually in this era we we'll point to. These two won't really matter that much because you do not use Cyber Dragon Core for your Exceed Summon or for your Link Summon. Use both Cyber Dragons for a Link Summon into your Cyber Dragon Seeger and then activate your Cyber Repair Plant. Now, if we had a third Cyber Dragon monster or a third machine monster in our graveyard, we would have been able to do a lot more, but we're actually going to return a Cyber Dragon from our decks to our side of the field and then use Machine Duplication again, Spell Summoning said Cyber Dragon back from our decks to our side of the field, as well as our next copy of Cyber Dragon. Now, this is where one of the monsters have to be pointing into a zone where summon sorcerers will point to because now I'm going to follow up by using Cyber Dragon Seeger and Cyber Dragon Core for a Link Summon and to summon Sorceress. Sorceress to target the Cyber Dragon to special summon Cyber Galaxy Soldier to your side of the field and then using Soldier and the Cyber Dragon for an Exceed Summon into Cyber Dragon Nova. Now we're not done just yet as I'm going to detach a Galaxy Soldier to spell summon the last Cyber Dragon monster from or another Cyber Dragon monster from my graveyard to my side of the field and use both of these monsters for an Exceed Summon into either Constellar Polites, or if we just so happen to have Droll and Lock in our hand, we could use it for an Exceed Summon into Artifact Durandal to control the board. This time around, I'm just gonna make Constellar Polites, and then I'm gonna follow up with Cyber Dragon Infinity. So that little three card combo got you two disruptions and a pretty solid spot 
on how to destroy your opponent's board because you're gonna have so much disruption you're gonna have a bounce you're gonna have a negation and you still have three other cards or two other cards in your hand to make that combo work for you guys okay uh to be honest with you guys this four card combo is a little unnecessary it can be a combination of other cards you can either have cyber emergency or cyber repair plant in your hand but i'm just going to use this as the most standard combo you're going to actually wind up with three level five xc monsters to your side of the field so it's pretty awesome what you were going to do is normal summon your cyber dragon core using its ability to add from your deck to your hand cyber repair plant then you're going to follow up with machine duplication turning your cyber dragon core into two other copies of cyber dragon monsters or cyber dragons uh, to your side of the field use the core and a cyber dragon for a link summon oh wait hold on wait, wait do i yeah you have to use these two monsters for a link summon into your cyber dragon seeker and then after that now we can activate the effects of cyber repair plant repair plan is going to go ahead and add from our deck to our hand which would have been better if we had a third monster but it's still Pretty good. We're gonna add uh, Cyber Dragon Vire uh, from our decks to our hand, and then we are going to activate the effects of Cyber Rev System. Rev System is gonna go ahead and bring out Cyber Dragon to our side of the field. We're gonna chain Vire and spell summon Vire to our side of the field through those effects, giving our monsters a little bit of boost. But that's not what's really gonna matter. I'm gonna use these two Cyber Dragon monsters for an Exceed Summon into Cyber Dragon. Nova and then use Cyber Dragon Nova's effect detaching two special summon a Cyber Dragon back to your side of the field. I'm then going to follow up by using that Cyber, Dra Cyber Dragon Nova as material for Cyber Dragon Infinity and then actually this needs to be over here my apologies and then the Cyber Dragon Vire and the Cyber Dragon Seeger for an Exceed summon into you guys guessed it the card of the hour summon Sorceress. So this would actually be right under, and then this would be right here. Summon Sorceress, target Cyber Dragon, two special summon to our side of the field, Galaxy Soldier. And then these two monsters are going to be used for another Exceed summon into our level 5 Cyber Dragon Nova. Now you can't overlay another Infinity because it's a once per turn you can Exceed summon, but still you can activate Nova's effect, detaching the special summon to uh, Cyber Dragon to its side of the field, and then Instant Fusion to bring out, that's right ladies and gentlemen, Panzer Dragon for another Exceed summon of your own. If you have Droll and Lockbird, I strongly suggest to go into the Dorindal, and if you don't, you can actually just use these for the summon of your Constellar Polites. So, uh, uh, that's pretty much it for the deck it has some insane combos really fun combos um and the deck just flows very nicely i hope you guys enjoyed the dual video that i did have and if you didn't i left an annotation throughout this video thank you guys so much for watching another segment of the cali effect i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a like and if you didn't let us know down below in the comment section what we could do to be better please like comment subscribe but most of all enjoy i hope you guys have a great day like i am